Hello, Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video, I'm going to show how a 3D DWF file can be embedded into a web page using the capabilities brought to you by the Autodesk 360 Cloud Storage Solution. So let's go ahead and have a look. Here, I have a 3D DWF file that I'm going to upload into Autodesk 360. In order to do that, I go to my Autodesk 360 account and I browse into the folder that I want to use and choose the Upload folder. I'll have the option to select the documents that I'm going to upload, so I'll go ahead and do that and browse out to the files that I wish to get. I can do multiple files, but in this case I'm just going to upload one. So I'll choose the Upload Now button. Choosing Upload, Autodesk 360 will go ahead and take that file and after a short while it will go ahead and generate my preview. Once the preview is generated, I can go ahead and move my cursor over the file, choose my Actions icon, choose Share, and Public Sharing. Once Public Sharing is selected, I can go ahead and turn Public Sharing on. I'll have the options to copy, email, preview, and finally embed. Embedding the file, I can go ahead and choose a size, and then all I have to do is select and copy the HTML code that's generated for me. Now all I have to do is switch to my website, find where I want to embed that code, and paste the code into my page. Now in my case, I did tweak the code a little bit to make it size a little better for my web page, but that's the only editing I've done. Once that's done, that's all I need to do. The web page can be published, and now I have a preview embedded in my page. So that's it for this video. If you haven't used Autodesk 360 yet, I encourage you to take a look. This is just one of the capabilities that it has. Thank you very much, and have a great week.